Hey guys, Todd from COSN coming at you again today. Hey, today I want to do a quick video on budget cookware. There's so much out there, so many products out there, and some of it's rebranding, and I'll show you some of that in this video, and we'll do a quick test on some budget cookware I just picked up, and we'll see how it does, and we'll also talk about some of the important things to look for. So stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so budget cookware. Um, I'm gonna give you guys just my personal opinion, my rundown on what I look for. There's so many products out there, uh, it just can get overwhelming. So there's three main things that I look for is, is basic size, um, weight, and material. So when you're looking at size, you wanna look at you know compact. Is it, is it gonna do the job that you need it to do out in the field? Um, you know, for instance, like if I'm going fishing, I'll bring a bigger pan because I know that I'm going to be cooking some fish. So, or if I'm just doing some bushcraft stuff, I'll go with something smaller, more compact where I know I'm only doing boiled water, coffee, and maybe some oatmeal. So it really does go to the personal preference of the, or the job at hand that you're doing. And you kind of look at, look at it under the size of the capability. Now weight, that's a big factor if you're doing a four day or or you know a long uh, hike you know you want to look at weight and you also of course want to look at that size again to make sure it isn't taking up a bunch of room in your backpack so weight's a big deal to me and you want to make it as light as possible but still be effective now going into the next thing is material now there's a lot of arguments behind material a lot of people again have personal preferences what they prefer and what they prefer to use so just starting with basic aluminum so aluminum is lightweight it's affordable it's a good conductor of heat um, and some some people say you know the downfall to it or the cons is that it breaks down the material can break down it can and I'm not going to get into the whole debate against is, is aluminum leach into your food and it's if you want to find that out google it there's information on it there's no proven facts so I'm not going to get into that but it, it over time it does break down aluminum will break down now when you move it into the higher grade types of aluminum you're talking about hard anodized aluminum which this is here it can handle more temperatures and you know for a short amount of times and uh, it'll take it'll take longer to break down and it's really good material and it's lightweight okay now moving into stainless steel uh, a lot of people like stainless steel it's tougher it's more scratch resistant than aluminum but it's also heavier than aluminum and it doesn't quite conduct heat evenly and that's another argument that people make that it does that it doesn't but you know, if you look, research it, go into some professionals um, like REI, you can go in there and look at some of their, their comments and stuff and say that they don't quite conduct heat evenly. And, and I agree with that. Um, but stainless steel, I really like. I have a lot of stainless steel. It's a little bit heavier, but it's gonna hold up over the long run. Um, and then we go into titanium. Now titanium, I don't have any titanium. Maybe I'm too cheap and I have a lot of budget gear. <laughs> No, titanium's a really, really good material. I do have uh, titanium utensils, and I'll probably end up picking up. I, I got a good friend that's got a titanium kettle. I really like it. It's very lightweight. Um, you know, it's the lightest option basically out there for the strength. It's highly corrosion resistant. I mean, it's just it's an all-around great material in cookware. But the cons to it is it's it's expensive. Um, it, it's a little bit comparable to stainless on your heat so the last thing is non-stick coating now i'm not really a big fan on non-stick coating because eventually sometimes it gets scratched up especially on budget stuff it gets scratched up and once it starts to get scratched then your non-stick coating just doesn't work as well as you know it should so i'm not a real big fan and that's me that's my personal preference maybe you guys are you know you use your wooden utensils and you know whatnot but i'm just not a real big fan of the non-stick coating but the real main topic here is you know budget cookware you know this i'm going to go over this really quick and you guys probably seen this all over youtube this is actually a stanley adventure cup or pot and it also i have a gsi um, you know cup on the bottom fits into that and then inside i have a, a stove and actual canister so it's all one piece it's easy to carry 
Um, I can carry it with me. I usually carry this a lot on longer trips or when I'm just boiling water and making coffee, this is excellent to do it with. Um, of course, you know, when you need a pan, when you're doing fish and different stuff like that, this is not gonna work the best. And then sometimes I even bring tin foil and just do my fish that way. But this is uh, what I carry most of the time. And this right here is 50 bucks. And I'll list everything that's on there down in the description block just in case if you, you know, are interested in that or if you don't have one yet. Um, now into the budget stuff, like I said, I'm doing outage or outed, I'm sorry. Now be careful with rebranding. This is actually on, I think, Amazon several different times under a couple different names. It's uh, uh, DeCooler or I think they do an Andor. I mean, they have all these different names. Um, I do like the motto of the company um, that sent this to me. Um, they did send this to me and they wanted my, my honest review and I'm gonna give you guys my honest review of this stuff. Um, I don't usually do, you know, these type of reviews but since they sent it to me I'll, I'll give my honest opinion about it all right guys like I said this is the uh, outed uh, budget cook set um, it said it goes for about 30 30 bucks and I like I said I'll list this down in the description block if you're interested after we get taken you know take a look at it uh, they said it's 11 piece set I'll put all the measurements down to the pots down also down below so um, I'm gonna just go over the main pieces here it did come, they say 11 piece set, but you've probably seen this on Amazon. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I mean, this is this is crap. All right, this you just toss that. Um, they come with like little bowls. They're, they're not bad, they're not really breakable. I mean, they're pretty tough, but I uh, uh, usually don't use those. Comes a little scrub pad, um, you can get that anywhere. Um, it does come with like a, a nifty little, looks like a rice spoon. You know, this stuff's from China. Comes with like a little little rice spoon. That's not bad, you know, if you wanted to, it's nice and compact, light, you can use that. Um, comes with a bag, of course. And this is kind of cool. Uh, some of the reviews said that this is uh, small and it's kind of useless, but you know what? I, I think that's about a perfect size for backpacking and bushcraft. Um, you know, make a cup, couple cups of coffee with one of those, and it's super light, super thin. I bet it boils water fast. We're gonna do that here in a second. This is a nice size. Um, I'd say this is at least for two people, maybe even three, doing like a little stew pot. You know, it's a good size little pot. The pan, not quite big enough for fish, but you, you know, maybe cut it in half and do one fish at a time. Um, I always think fish, because I love fishing. So I would say this three, these three pieces are pretty good pretty good set it's uh, nice and lightweight but uh, the other stuff that comes with it like I said I never use that so that stuff is just a wash um, the pan set is what you want to look at and I actually really like this kettle even though people on the review said that they didn't like it but I like this little kettle I think it'll work well we want to use it for so let's get testing really quick do a couple tests like I said I'll do a future video on this and uh, see how it holds up All right, guys, another note, the reason why I'm using a solar stove is to kind of simulate a campfire, not real controllable heat, uh, like your propane stoves, things like that, you can control the heat. I wanted to simulate kind of a campfire uh, setup. Now, you can control your campfire by using the coals. Every, you know, if you've done a lot of camping and stuff, you can actually control your heat that way. Um, the solar stove, it's really kind of hard to control the heat, but it does work really well and it does simulate a good fire. Now, uh, one thing to note, to note on this budget gear, a lot of this budget gear does come with uh, your plastic handles. This is the uh, uh, outed uh, brand, and you got to watch these plastic handles. They will completely melt off if you have a full size fire. So that's something else to look for. I might end up trying to take them off, and I'll give you guys an update in the future, like I said. Hey guys, so uh, you know, I wanted to test the non well, it's not really non stick, this is anodized. So I just wanted to test to see what happened if I dropped an egg in it without any oil. And obviously, you can see it's pretty well just crusted in there. So I'm gonna see, and it was actually a good test because now I'm gonna see how easy it is to clean. So pretty much all I'm gonna do is put water in, heat it up, and use their little scrubber and actually see how well, how easy it is to clean. It cleans up pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, I think it has a lot to do with this little pad that comes with it. Like I said, you're buying the pans, you're not buying the, the accessories that come with it. I'd go, you know, with the Scotch-Brite little pad and uh, it'd be, you'd be way more successful. 
So we're gonna try this again with the egg test, but with some oil and see how it works out. While this is working with the oil to cook the eggs, uh, I'd probably more recommend poaching your eggs rather than frying them. It's easier cleanup and uh, not a lot sticks to the pan. So that's the outed cook set, uh, budget cookware, and it's, it's not bad. It's not a bad setup. I do wanna do more testing. I do like the teapot, but I definitely wanna do some more testing and see how it holds up over the long run. And it's actually nice to get, um, you know, if you're just beginning or if you just wanna get out, get a budget set, Seems like it would do the job uh, pretty good, but like I said, I want to come back and give you guys an update after I've used it for a while, beat it up a little bit, and see what the longevity is. But, you know, like this set, I'll probably end up handing down to my kids and so that they have their own little set so they can start getting out there and enjoying the woods. So I just wanted to bring this to you guys and talk a little bit about, you know, budget cookware and what I look for and what, you know, that's my personal opinion and it does come down to personal preference. It really does when you do this stuff a long time, but just some things you guys can look at because there's so much of it out there. I wanted to bring this to you and hopefully I've helped you out in some way. And if I haven't, that's okay too. So, Hey, Thank you guys for watching and everything you guys do for me. I really appreciate your guys' support.